gonna let Rami drive my 86 back day. Oh yeah. This will go with, well. So I'm gonna drive your car with these. Yeah. Look at these things. <laughs> we have not met our uh, burned down car quota yet that we tend to have. That's true. <laughs> Are you sitting in here? I'm a little shorter than you. Okay, there we go. So, Rami, just so you know, the car is actually in my name and insured. I don't care. <laughs> he, do he, he doesn't care at all. It's so 9 11, look. I can already tell. So this is JP's outlaw back date and he's letting me drive it with my boots and everything. <laughs> it's really great. Oh my God, the suspension is just unbelievable. Wow, wow. Holy cow. I can't get over it. I really can't. This car originally rolled off the production line in Stuttgart back in 1986 as a standard Porsche 911 Carrera G body, equipped with a 3.2 liter flat six engine and 915 five speed transmission. However, a few years ago, it underwent a remarkable transformation into a backdated 911, commonly referred to as a long hood model. This design was inspired by the 1973 911 RS, but it is not an exact clone. Rather, it boasts a more outlaw appearance, making it stand out from the crowd. One of the major benefits of this backdated 911 is the shedding of weight that comes with it. The car has been stripped down to its essentials with lighter bumpers, a lighter hood and deck lid, RS door cards, and one-piece race seats, among other features. Additionally, the exhaust has been lightened and the wheels have been replaced with forged lightweight ones. As a result of all these changes, the car has lost around 300 pounds or more from its original weight, making it considerably faster than before. But weight reduction is only part of the story. This car is awesome. This car is awesome. Wow, this car is surprising the sh** out of me. <laughs> this car has also been upgraded with suspension improvements by Terrett, including upgraded drop links, larger torsion bars, pass-through RS sway bars, and more. These upgrades have transformed the car into a hot rod 911 that can compete with modern vehicles in both speed and handling. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes! Wow! Look at this! They can't even keep up with me! <laughs> the camera car can't keep up with me! And they've got 600 horsepower! <laughs> Despite all of these modifications, the car still retains the pure analog feel that 911 enthusiasts love. This is something that cannot be replicated by modern vehicles and is a testament to the car's enduring appeal. I wish you could feel it! You know, I know it's, it's, on, it's on video, but I wish you could feel this. This thing is just, watch this, right? The downshift into the turn. <laughs> oh, what a car. Wow. While some might compare it to a Singer backdated 911, the truth is that this car is in a league of its own. It provides all the raw, visceral driving experiences of a million dollar hot rod, but at a much more affordable price point. Overall, this is a car that truly delivers on its promise of pure driving pleasure. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh this car! Wow! This car is spectacular! <laughs> so, I have four air cooled Porsches. I have a Carrera RS 1995, I have a Roof GT2 twin turbo 1996 i have a 1986 930 turbo 
that's 800 horsepower, and I have an original 1979 Iceman Green 930 Turbo, all original. So I have a little experience driving these cars, and I have to say, I think I'm gonna buy a backdate now, because what the backdate does is it takes all the things that annoy you about 911, there aren't many, but some of the things that annoy you about the 911s, and it just, it gets rid of them. All right, so I took this same road with my SVJ, and I, granted I was going faster, but whatever. Oh my God, this thing turns like, oh. And he's also got new wheels and tires on it that just make it so spectacular. They're gold, they're beautiful, but what it does is it let the grip, it's unbelievable. Ooh. Oh, this car is fantastic. I'm, I'm going down this road as fast as I went down, almost, I would say, 20 miles an hour slower than my SVJ. That's crazy. That's crazy. Thanks for watching this car review on The Rami Show. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We bring you the best reviews of exotic collector and vintage cars, as well as behind the scenes footage of how we make our videos. From the planning and research to the filming and editing, we give you an inside look at our process. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. We appreciate your support and hope to see you in the next one. Each one of these is like a, a work of art. So do it in your own style, right? It doesn't have to be exactly the way Magnus did it. It doesn't have to be exactly the way what the Porsche world thinks your back did is. Do it the way you want. Leave the mirrors, don't leave the mirrors. Put the exhaust on, put a ducktail on, put a whale tail on. Who cares? As long as it makes you happy when you get in and drive, what does it matter? What are you goofballs doing? Uh, recording. Cruising for chicks. It's not working out very well. Ah! All right, I gotta get out of this car. I'm sweating my ass off. And I got my leather pants on, so it's super hot. Whew, I gotta get out. Oh my god.